So guys, disappointing nil nil draw today. Yeah, it, it, in the end it's filed, uh, drew as well. It, it, it's all all as it was beforehand, so to speak. But yeah, you, you can possibly flip it and look. It was point, two points dropped from us because we were at home and, uh, and they were away. So from the point of view of not winning the game, there's obviously disappointment there. Um, but a bit of credit to Bradford who came and were really solid. Uh, had a great base uh, from which to then build one or two attacks and the, I thought the two centre halves were, were very good for them. Um, so always give credit to, to the opposition that you, you can never have any God given right to win a game. And, uh, and as you say, as I said, filed not winning either has kept it the same. So, you know, both changing rooms I suppose will be frustrated. Both sets of managers us and filed it, you know, were as frustrated as each other. They didn't close the gap or improve it. We didn't open it up. So yeah, a little bit frustrating. Yeah, I mean, uh, they were very solid, but I thought we were as well, and Chilaka really didn't cause us any problems yet he has done in the past. Yeah, Chip's a good player, and with his back to goal, he's, he's a threat, he's pace and power, but um, in terms of the game, I thought we controlled it without playing well at all, um, and we had good good possession at times in key areas, but we, we turned passes down, and ball players that we've got, and individuals that we've got, you know, um, in certain areas didn't create what, what we have been creating and we've already said that it was nervy and it was touchy and, and it felt like that all the way through the game Russ. Yeah I mean we came into today on the back of a fine 2-0 away and away at Worcester and I think we said the same a couple of weeks ago with the Oxford game. We went till late January where we were virtually invincible at home uh, and away, away from home our form was pretty scratchy. We've now gone for undefeated four wins away from home without even conceding hardly a chance and man a goal but suddenly at home if only the form could have continued we'd have walked it by now yeah it, you, you can analyse it all league seasons and, and, and each game as it comes and I think frustrations have crept in at home um, the fans have been fantastic they also felt felt it today I thought um, you know that there's always that the way to look at it, it, it is do players and when when do players lift fans and when do fans lift players and and both were a little bit flat today and and, and that you and know the players are disappointed in there you know that it makes home games good. difficult you know they, these are now stupidly stupid comment to sales but these are the hardest games to win now yeah. because there's that much pressure on it and you know we, we we paid for that a little bit because we didn't have our key power composure and key key moments the crosses were snatched at the shots were were taken from the wrong angle or the wrong place when you can have another touch and and set yourself properly so. But that, that's just purely pressure that builds on, on individuals and then some to you we said at half time, didn't we, about yeah. calming each other down when we've got possession and speaking to each other, communicating a little bit better and being the eyes for each other, but you know, in the end we, we just weren't good enough on the day to, no. to, to break them down. We didn't play with normal speed or intensity today, it was just like we huffed and puffed all the way through. That was the disappointing thing. Six games to go, we're a top of the league by two points with a game in hand. It's not all doom and gloom by any means. No, not You're taking it? this position in August, and if it keeps going like this to the end of the season, we'll have won, won it with a game to spare. So, um, stop Paul of Cole coming here for a massive game on Friday, uh, and how you would think a, an even bigger crowd than today. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a, a, a great afternoon. And, you know, as you say, the stop Paul Bank Holiday Friday, they'll bring some, some fans up without a shadow of a doubt. So, it'll be a, a, a great game. We just have to hope that. that we step up a little bit more than we did today and, 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 and key individuals um, produce what they can produce and what they've produced for the course of the season, you know, let's not yeah. be down on the players, they've been no. phenomenal for us this year, so just got to all get behind them, us as staff and, fa and fans and make sure we can lift them and, and raise them and, and keep them yeah. uh, when, in the right mindset. When people have asked questions of them players in there, they've, they've always stepped up, so they'll yeah, continue to do that. that is our first... Game. Uh, home game all season other than the run home game in the cup where we've not scored a goal and I think we've said first game in four months we haven't scored so yeah. um, that's not often you, the, the management <laughs> should have left Cookie out then should they? Um, no it, it, yeah that, that's that's a disappointing thing I think at home we've generally created a lot of chances and, uh, and someone's stepped up and taken it and that's been the catalyst for, for a, a decent performance or, and three points but you know the turnaround at home has been phenomenal you know so there was always going to be certain games that were frustrating and, and we have had certain ones recently but I think that's that's the, the situation that we now find ourselves yeah. and we've got to you know just grasp it rather than be 
rather than being to tell you, be a weight on, on our backs. We've just got to grasp the moment and, uh, and seize it. And you know, three wins at home in the last in the last three games it puts you nearly, nearly there or very yeah, very close. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and fans seem to be feeling it the same. I mean, last, last Saturday, Saturday they drew at home to Hyde, which you would have thought was a bank of three points. And today they've gone to Gainsborough, and again they've only drawn. So it's very touchy for everybody at the top, and I'm sure the teams who are slightly behind third, fourth, fifth, sixth. They've got a mammoth battle going on with the results today as well. Yeah, and that, and that, you know there's been results today you, you, uh, that have turned up that you wouldn't think, and that, that again is down to to pressure and, and so forth. You know, that playoffs is so tight now. There's about four teams on 63 or whatever it is. It's, it's going to be an exciting end. So whichever you know. And the, and the relegation teams are winning. Yes, yeah. This is it. It's, this is how it's going to be. We would, you know, we'd take like I said in August. We'd take this position. Let's be positive. You know, and, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's for hours to lose if we match what Fal do every week. Then we're home. So yeah, we need to step up a few gears. Playoffs will be lovely and exciting to be able to watch having won the league. It will. We've still got some work to do, so we don't want to get overconfident. But after today, loads of work. But um, you know, it would be nice to be to have that luxury. Um, so in our hands, we've got to make sure that as a collective, we're, we're ready this week, and, and we've got to go and beat Stockport and put some points on the board quickly. Thanks very much, guys. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you.